cut. This is the Astell and Kern A and F A and F Futura. I, I I don't even know how to pronounce this thing. Um, it's it's got edges that are so sharp it could hurt a child. Um, it could take out your eye. It's got edges that could slice a cucumber. It seems this really should have a cover for two thousand dollars, but as I've started to play around with it, that's my ceiling. I've got flags and stuff on the ceiling, and the hula girls and. Okay, ADHD is done for now. Um, USB-C on the bottom plus one SD card internal is 128 gigs. Uh, you've got, I believe, typical play, pause, previous, um, next. On the top you've got 2.5, you've got regular, and then you can set this for a line out and perhaps more. I haven't really got into it yet. Um, there's not a lot of videos about this thing yet. I'll, I'm going to do a couple. This is the player interface. If I swipe it over, I'm going to get songs, album, artist, genre, playlist. Let me go into songs. It's going to put that. Vivaldi. I don't mind Vivaldi. Um, Vivaldi, Verdi. I like the Italian composers, actually, but that's not my file. So th th that was put on by Astell. I, I think so, anyway. Um, go by album. It's going to put me in, in a configuration like this, which I like. These four squares over here. Actually, this Q symbol, if I touch this, that all of my... Everything that's got Q files in it is going to separate the tracks that might otherwise play as like one long one. So that's a really kind of a very cool touch. I've touched those four squares. I'm going to go into what you typically see in a lot of stuff, like um, UAPP. If I touch that again, I'm going to go into kind of like a cover flow thing. Now speed-wise, if I take it into the same configuration that the RS would be in, the R6, excuse me, it is at least, if not faster, it's making very good use of whatever hardware it's got in it. It's very, 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 very fast. So I can do it in this, I can do it like this. Or I can do it like this, and I prefer to do it like that. If I touch it here, it's going to take me back to play, so let me get out of there. Uh, go into songs, album, artist, genre, playlist, folders, MQS, CD library, store, settings. Um, let me try settings. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AK Connect, Equalizer, Gapless, Line Out. Left right balance, playback settings, CD ripping, USB mode, USB audio, screen brightness, device name, bad boy bitch slapper. I just decided that. No, I have no idea why. System info. A very polished user interface going on right here. Now, let me go into something that's particularly kind of cool. Where is it? Mm, no. Let go to settings. Turn equalizer on. Okay, this is kind of cool. Now I'm going to turn the EQ on and I'm going to go into advanced. Now, what I got down here, if you can see at the bottom. I've got the gain level that I can adjust right here. And I looks like I can micro adjust it. This one right here. Like 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So this is standard gain elevation. So I'm set at a Q of 0 0.4. Let's go to 1. So I'm setting the Q right now. And then let me set the gain. I'm at 30 hertz, I guess. Let me set the gain for... 0.7 and then I believe this is fine tuning it with very very little micro steps if I want if I want to change the width of the band I can alter the cue something like that which wouldn't sound very awesome but the level of control on this is just absolutely awesome so the fact that this doesn't have a cover is being overshadowed by the fact that I've got an absolute super duper tweak. That Q of 4 is way too much. 
Let me just go here just for the heck of it. And let me... I believe I can touch it as well. I can. Yo, wow. Um, I can do a whole video just about the EQ. That That's absolutely cool, cool, cool. Um, let me turn it off so I don't affect the sound. That, but that's that's awesome and you can do user settings if you want type in the own one that you want let me get out of here because that's a that's too much um, to deal with right now go back down so again I've got settings wheel lock gapless line out AK connect external USB USB mode the EQ the EQ, the awesome EQ Bluetooth and Wi-Fi let me touch that and then I'm back into my screen. I don't have any sound impressions yet. That this is the most mature user interface that I've come across so far. Um, it's ridiculous, actually. It's really, really nice. Why something that's so sharp wouldn't come with its own case blows my mind. But this is, in fact, a five-inch touchscreen. Now let's get a see if we can get an angle where we might see some fingerprints all the touching I've done not really I wouldn't quite call this gorilla glass but it is it is pretty damn good now the backside because I've been handling it a lot I'm not wearing shirt because it's very very hot that's not bad I can deal with that and then volume that's an interesting. Oh, it looks like the A. I get it now. This is like the A in Asta. And it goes up to 146. And then it kind of looks like this symbol. Let me go way back down there. Can I touch it and do it? Yeah, I can. That's much faster, isn't it? Yes, it is. And then we get out of there. Um, that's just a look at the user interface. I'm going to be doing a review of this device. Um, if it sounds anything like it functions, this is this is this is why people pay the big money. Uh, some people pay it just to say that they paid it and. It's one of the hobbies that you can like buy yourself into and have credibility be just because you bought something. It's it's uh, I guess maybe that's the same with all hobbies. Car audio is the same. Cars are the same. This is really no different. These are really sharp. Um, I need a cover. I need to get one really fast. UI is fantastic. Look at that. That thing is absolutely freaking beautiful. I'd like to say thank you to the people at um, Astel, uh, but I. I don't have to say thank you to them, and I actually, their pass to the next guy game was really annoying. Um, I'll get into that later too, because the company and the gear is, is what you buy when you pay this much money. My opinion of the company is not that great, um, but there's a lot of companies that are in that, so that won't get in the way of giving an honest impression on this. This is really a weapon, uh, but it's really beautiful, and it's... It, something like this isn't as convenient if it, you've got to fix and deal with stuff all the time. And uh, Ibeso, Fio, um, Ibeso, Fio, um, Hibby, they're, they're advertising stuff when they sell Adapt and then they don't have it ready and they say in the next firmware. That, that That's just gotten so tiring for me. Um, and everybody in the hobby must be getting sick of reading something's got USB DAC or something like that. And then it doesn't have it yet when, when you buy it. Um, this appears to have all it's advertised to have. If that's in fact the case, it's going to get a lot of love just for that. And I'm going to give some understanding as to why it costs as much as it does. Because you buy it to do A, B, C, and D. You open the box, you, 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 you set it up, and it does A, B, C, and D without promises and apologies. If that's the case, this is going to be quite the winner. Look at that thing. Holy shit, that's beautiful. Damn, turn that back on. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's beautiful. 
Damn, that's so nice. All right, I'm out of here.